Welcome to Inside Recon. In this episode, the team is excited to give you a sneak peek at the campaign missions of the Raven Strike DLC. Raven Strike is an homage to Ghost Recon fans with its large maps, challenging situations, and non-linear paths. The specs of these operations are beyond black. The ghosts must tread carefully or risk all-out war with Russia. In Secure Dawn, the ghosts have to search crash sites in a foggy marsh and extract a captive Russian general from a nearby compound. We're at the first crash site. The earlier confrontation with Bodarks in Dagestan compromised the ghosts' sensors and camouflage, but having earned their namesake long before their modern tech, they are swiftly deployed to capitalize on the situation. His history. The place is teeming with Raven Rock forces, mobilized to sweep the forest for survivors. Prudence instead of violence is the key. What's your status? Take advantage of the cover of darkness to identify and eliminate your enemies. Kill confirmed. In Cold Walker, the ghosts must infiltrate a special train used as a mobile command post by the rebel commanders. On location, they must upload intelligence gathering software in order to remotely monitor future warlike intentions. Cold Walker features multiple environment types, a massive open environment to test your infiltration skill. I knew you were going to say that. Location. Three o'clock. Holding for your shot. That's four targets. Doing. A complex and dangerous rail yard for intense combat where cover, CQC, and reaction time are vital. You'll have to stop them yourself. Hunter Cop, Overlord. This is the moment we've been working towards. Thanks to the Ghost's effort, U.S. intelligence has learned about crucial strategic information located in a building in Moscow. Activating camo. In Argent Thunder, during the chaos of the counter-coup, the Ghost team is scrambled to secure this intel. At night, in a besieged Moscow, the Ghosts will have to use the full potential of their tools to comprehend the dangers of the battlefield. Numerous highly trained enemies on the surrounding buildings, rooftops, bridges, and vehicles promise a difficult fight. Get ahead. These three new campaign missions, as well as the new Guerrilla Mode map, are all playable cooperatively with up to four players. Stay tuned for the next Inside Recon.